Creating a student-driven online learning community. The Human Body Project as an experimental model of collaboration and interactivity. In the spring of 2009, Mr. Albert Calderon's classes met in the library to share their ideas on how a student-driven website should be designed and created. They had already created web pages on the NNHS Library Sandbox, a wetpaint.com wiki. Divided into groups, the students developed web pages on genetic diseases. Each group considered issues of format and design, what a visitor to the site should learn, and what the target audience should be. At a design meeting on April 9th, the group considered a variety of approaches to these issues. Students had just completed a poster board project on genetic diseases. They used their poster boards as a frame of reference for design and content in a virtual space. Compared to the poster board, students commented positively in favor of the wiki, saying, I definitely understood the concepts better, and if I had done my project this way, I would have done better on the test. From a teacher's perspective, the wiki allows for better assessment as it tracks every change made and by whom. Students under the guidance of Mr. Calderon created a rubric that emphasized the importance of credibility, relevant details, citation, diverse media, and design. Students were guided by questions such as, when does video add or subtract from credibility? And what is the best use of links? Using these guidelines, they began work on the Human Body Project. This project is envisioned as a student-designed website that links learning from both chemistry and biology classes in a virtual human body. After several weeks, classes in A-Block, D-Block, and E-Block had contributed nearly 30 pages of content on body systems. Through their research, students made use of content from library databases, books, and subscriptions as part of a spectrum of sources including music videos and games, all with the goal of presenting credible information on their topics in a way that their peers would understand. In reflecting on this first phase of the project, students considered some of the challenges they faced. There was so much content added that organization became a key issue. At a design meeting on June 1st, students discussed how to better organize the site so that others might be able to easily navigate through it. One suggestion was to create a table of contents that would link the pages within the site. Another issue surrounded how and when to consolidate similar pages. Who should be responsible as an editor to do this? Could an online discussion forum be used to discuss editorial issues? Each page on the wiki has at the bottom a discussion thread that some students were already using to ask editorial questions and to leave notes for each other. One student commented, the more we link to each other's pages, the more powerful it will be. There was a sense that the group can be greater than the sum of its parts. But what is the best way to set it up so that others can contribute in a meaningful way? What would they advise other groups doing this project to do? And who owns the space anyway? This was as much a self-reflective process as it was a project. Gone is the old model of the poster boards that are eventually discarded. The web-based group project removes barriers of space and time. There are limitless avenues for linking to more information in a variety of media. Also, the project lives on to form building blocks for future classes. The interactive web allows for cross-collaboration between classes, schools, and the world with the research topic as its center. This project was funded by a grant from the Newton Schools Foundation.